In this video, we're going to be going over how to use the offset tool within Onshape assembly files. Um, so when we are mating, okay, so we can click our fasten mate, and let's say we want to put this white piece on our blue piece, okay? Again, there's a hundred different ways we could do this. We could say we want to do the bottom middle part. We can come over here. We can do the top middle part. That actually jumped on there pretty nice. We didn't have to reorientate it. We didn't have to flip it around. We could say finish, okay? And that looks pretty good. So now with this part, we have a one by six. This is a four by six. And if we wanted to lay this six piece part over here and we wanted to line this up, we would actually have two bricks overhanging the side. So let's see what this looks like. So again, 100 different ways to do this correctly. We could say, you know, maybe we want the top right to line up with the top right over here. We could say, okay, wow, that jumped in there perfectly. We could say, okay. And now it's like, all right, well, we have two bricks hanging over. Well, maybe we didn't want two bricks hanging over on this side. Maybe we wanted one brick here and one brick hanging over on this side. So it was perfectly centered. So again, we don't have to undo anything. Let's move this little black piece out of the way, okay? Ooh, there we go. And now what we can do is we can make an edit, okay, to our uh, fasten, and you don't have to delete it. So we can come over to our instances toolbar over here. We can double click on fasten two, and we can see that we have a red X Going back, we have a green Y going up and down, and we have a blue Z going kind of left to right. So what we want to do is click on our offset right here, and now, okay, well, the blue Z is going left and right. Let's click here, and let's say we want to offset that one Lego brick, which we have it as 7.8. That looks perfect. If it goes the wrong way, you just know that you need to type in a negative number there, so we can say green check mark. And now, oh, now we've offset our mate so that we have one brick over here and one brick over here. Let's do that again. So let's grab our little black piece right here. This is kind of a little piece for um, the Lego wheel to go on to. So again, bunch of different ways that we can assemble this. We could actually go to the bottom of this. We could do a fasten mate. We could zoom in to the corner, the corner top right bottom corner okay we could rotate our screen we could come down to this point right here and we, if we went on the top face to the bottom right corner we could click there and once we get it there again we got really lucky it went right into place and again if it didn't maybe it came in like that you know you might have to rotate it it's like ah none of those worked we could flip it you know, we could rotate that around until it's perfect. That looks great. Well, maybe, maybe this little wheel piece right here, maybe this black piece needs to be up against this one by six piece. So it's like, ooh, okay, what do we need to do? We need to offset our, and now it looks like the yellow line is our left to right line. So we could go to our yellow and, or our yellow, our green Y line and we could say 7.8 oh we went the wrong way we can say negative 7.8 look at that locks right into place now we have our uh start to our assembly file right here and again we can click on these they are definitely all together as we click and start to move these pieces they're all definitely all together okay this is a great way to uh, assemble and then also using the offset tool within Onshape.